Hey everybody, and welcome back to Star Maid. I'm Dugamus, and we're playing on the Star Squadron server. I've been doing a lot of single player lately, and messing around, and I figured, you know, the update's gonna come out sooner than, or later with the power. They've already got an impressive dev update coming out soon, and I figure, I can't just wait around forever, so I've stripped out this drone, and and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to edit the drone. So, we got this mechanism that should cause the drone to close when it's on a rail should but I'm not sure cause see this button here is triggered by this sensor here which is going to be triggered by the thrust now, I haven't decided how much thrust there's going to be or anything, but, uh, well, I think it's a drone. It should be pretty fast, right? Let's pop these out for a minute. I widened this area here from the one square that's on all the other side to three squares because these arms have turned out to be completely useless and almost totally decorative uh, the weapons that I had equipped in them before don't work right so we're going to just use these as like pop out and pop out engine pods maybe I guess I don't know we'll see and we need to put some sort of primary weapon system in here. So we need to fill out the power, which I've been reluctant to make anything that's going to need a new power setup because of this new update that's coming out. Uh, like, why would you want to? I mean... You're going to have to redo it anyway, but we've got somewhat of a big battle coming up and I want to be able to fill up the Black Star. Uh, so far the Black Star is just for show. It's a really big hull. It's got nothing in it. It's got the drone launcher tubes which is great I can't spell and I mean so it's got the drone launcher tubes so I might as well put drones in the launch tubes Let's load this up, and we're gonna go up, and I cleared space so that we can do this, and pop, up, oops, go in the front and make sure we don't put this too far back, I want to put a light in this front part, to control the color of the thrust. Oh, too many. So we got that. Uh, thrust is forty point nine thrust.
Let's pop out of that core and go back into the central core. So it seems that these wing pods are going to provide enough thrust for the fully loaded block. I mean, they got well over two times the mass of the whole thing in just one side. So let's go to the other side and Boom. Boom. We want to leave the one space and change the color of the thruster. pop out and, and do that. Oh, we can't because it's virtual. Okay, so instead we're going to go in here, we're going to go... No. Here it thrust. So we've got 74 thrust the 20.9 mass okay so we could do this And increase the mass even more, but also increase the thrust. Okay, so we need something to go here. We need the colored light that goes in the front. to slave this to one of these thrusters so that it does the right thing. And that'll make it so this makes it basically this circuit is so if it is under 33% It triggers the activation block, so we'll see how well that works later. When we go to test it, it might need a bit of redundancy. I don't know. But now we need an effective weapon. And some power and some shields. Let's start by putting in a symmetry plane. Okay. We want power, power, power. Now, because we can't make any chains longer than eight inside this tiny space, connecting these in lines the way that you would in a larger ship makes absolutely no sense. You actually get more thrust, uh, more power if they're not touching.
here. There. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So we've got like three, almost 4,000 power. What are we gonna do with 4,000 power? When our thrust needs about half of that. So we got about 2,000 power to work with. Um. I don't know. Um. So we got the whole skull going on. Do we want the pa like, we could have the light shoot out of here, the corner of the eye? Or like a beam weapon, or a missile weapon, or pretty much any kind of weapon. I also thought of putting a pulse weapon in it and having it fly really close and basically ram any ships, pockmark them with these crafts. But I'm not sure what kind of lag that would cause. It's already going to cause a lot of lag just having these ships. I typically spawn in 60. I don't remember exactly how many the Black Star can carry, but I think it's 20s. Um, if you haven't seen the Black Star, we will have the Black Star. In the episode after whatever episode we finish these drones in, I mean, I wanted to finish it in one session, but it's not looking good. Um, we'll probably need another episode to do weapons testing and whatnot. Um... Can I squeeze in here? We could put in... So let's put in a missile computer right there. Let's see how many we can fit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think we can go right next to it. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And then if we go to this one and we go make output. And we have ship. Weapons, we have a missile computer. Oh, why do we have four? Because I accidentally gave it four. Because we have the symmetry plane on! Yay! Anyway, it's neither here nor there. The stats will be the same no matter what we do. If we want to lower it to just two launchers, it doesn't matter. So, power consumption, it takes about 20,000 more power than we have to fire these bastards. So, flying at full speed, it's going to charge them up and then not be able to fire them. And these are the dumb fire missiles. and they're not even going to be going very fast.
<sighs> now, they have an impressive range, but I don't need that kind of range. Maybe missile is not the best kind of weapon to put in here. How about we... Pull those out. And let's go with... First of all, let's unset the one plane. Let's go with team cannon now let's throw in some ion effect maybe I mean we still need okay so I'm gonna go beam computer actually let's do this the somewhat sane way Beam computer is going to go here because the upper section is going to be the beams. Beam, 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 beam. And then we're going to go down here. Beam, beam. Okay, so that's the beam. Well, let's go check out the power consumption of the beams. Power consumption of the beams is under our maximum. Uh, we're going to do 700 DPS. That's less than I would have liked. Let's see what happens when we put in the cannons. Okay, so now we have beams and cannons. So that makes damage beams that fire continuously. So they fire continuously. They need to come into a reasonably close range. But the damage per second's only 280. So, I mean. <laughs> We can overdrive these. We can add more power. But I think we might have to do that next episode. So that's all the time we have for today. Uh, I'm Dougamus, and this was Star Made. Please leave some comments about this. Uh, what have you put in your drones? How big should my weapons be? Have you ever built a 9x9x9 drone before with pop-out arms? Uh, let me see what you've done. And more importantly, what weapon should I put in this? Am I going about this the wrong way? Let me know.